Do y'all hear that? My kitchen cabinets are being painted right now. So they're on break right now, so I wanted to come take a sneak peek. Sneaky peeky poo. Looks like the ceilings are done. Ooh, it's hazy down here. It's foggy, giving paint fog. Um, the cabinets are primed because that's not the pink color that I picked out. So it's the primer is white. These fumes. <coughs> Ooh. Yes. So I guess this is stage one. I'll be back with an update. <coughs> so the cabinets are painted. The painting part of it is done. And this is what it looks like so far. Definitely brighten up the area. So yeah, I like this color better. So this is a more wider view. I still got cabinet hardware to shop for. And once I get it, I'll call the man back out to put them on. But y'all see that little box to the right? That's an intercom system that came with the house when it was built. So I'm thinking about getting that removed. And I'm also thinking about replacing the door to the little entryway right there by it. New day, guys. I am back. And today I am shopping for cabinet hardware. So last night I was on Lowe's website and I think I found the finish that I wanted. Um, I wanted that aged rub bronze finish. It's more of a rub bronze, but it looks like it's been scuffed up and distressed a little bit. So I'm going to take a look at it in person. Um, and if it looks like how I want it to look, then I will be purchasing it. So you guys are coming with me shopping. But before we even leave, remember I was telling you guys about the um, entryway that leads from the kitchen to the laundry room, how I wanted to put up a door and how I wanted to replace or remove that intercom system that's in the kitchen. Okay, so the general contractor guy that I use, he just came out and he just left as a matter of fact. Um, so let's talk about the door. <laughs> I am keeping the accordion doors and here's why. Um, the entryway is already small by itself. To put up a door, he would have to reframe the door, reframe the, the opening, and then put a door to the frame. And it would shorten the space, the entry space. So if I needed to remove the washer and dryer that I currently have, he measured that, um, I would have to remove the doors. And the framing on the inside, um, if you look at any of your doors in the house, there's a little piece of wood that comes off of the actual frame. That would have to be removed in order for me to be able to remove the washer and dryer that I currently have from that area. God forbid I need to replace it, repair it, remove it out of there for any reason. I would have to deconstruct the whole door frame in order to have that possible. <laughs> so the accordion door stays because that, yeah, it's too complicated. Um, and as far as the intercom system, that's a complex job, he says, because that system in the kitchen attaches to systems throughout the house. So in order to remove that system, I would have to remove the rest of the systems. And once he gets back there, he said it could be an electrical nightmare being that the house was building like 75, yeah. I don't use it. I just don't like how it looks. So what he suggested is that he customize a cover up, some kind of frame. He took some measurements and he's gonna customize a, it's not a box, but kind of sorta because it will go over the intercom system to kind of hide it. That way it would save me some money. You don't have to add <laughs> any more work, unnecessary work throughout the house and to yeah, it would just serve the purpose of it being covered because I just don't like how it looks. Yeah, so that's what we came up with and to customize that because he's currently working on some big jobs. It'd probably take a couple of months for that to get done. So when that's done, I guess I'll be back with an update. But right now, right now, today, 
we are going shopping. I need four cabinet poles and 13 knobs. So let's go shopping. <laughs> So these knobs kind of match my vibe more, but they ain't got none. <laughs> so the one next to it, I don't know what the difference is. Um, I guess maybe thickness, but they look the same. So, and they got about 13. These are the only ones that kind of got that aged bronze look. So I'm gonna go with this one. So I got four and 13 knobs. I know why I ain't get a buggy, y'all. I have to tote all this up front. <laughs> so, the kitchen is fully completed. The guy just left. He put the hardware on the cabinets, and this is what it looks like. Yep. I like how it looks. It's upgraded. Definitely a whole lot compared to how it used to look. Yep. The hardware ties into the vibe that's going on downstairs with the aged rub bronze fixtures and wall ornaments and decorations. It fits right in. It matches perfectly. Yep. I like how it turned out. I definitely love this color on the cabinets compared to the last color for sure. Just the overall look of the kitchen now is an upgrade compared to what it previously looked like. Yeah, so I'm satisfied with how everything turned out here. Um, there were no issues this time. There were no delays. Everything went smoothly. Yeah, so your girl is satisfied. Um, the downstairs half bath, that's done. If you hadn't seen that video, go watch it after this one, okay? So next up, now that the kitchen is done, we're going upstairs. We're going to brighten up those walls with some fresh paint rearrange the furniture upstairs make it more spacious make the area more open gonna swap out the decorations out with the old in with the new yes and then after all of that is done then we're going to start remodeling the master bath upstairs so yeah i still got some stuff to do so before i close out this video i kind of want to give you guys a quick update there has been a little change, a little tweak done to the half bath downstairs. If you saw the vlog about that remodel, if you hadn't, what are you doing? What are you waiting on? Go watch. But if you had seen it, you can see in the video where the color of the faucet didn't quite match the color on the mirror. At first, I thought it was because of the lights. Because when the lights are turned on, it gives like a saffron or amber color cast. Um, but with the lights turned off, it still looked the same. The colors were mismatched. So I called the painter, he came back out, he customized a glaze, that way we didn't have to paint the faucet all over again. And um, we did like a test, it dried, it met my approval, I gave him the green light. He put about two coats of that glaze on it and baby, yes, the color is coloring. It's not the perfect match, but it's a close match. So let me show you what it looks like. So this is how it looks with no light on, just the natural glow from the windows being opened downstairs. And this is how it looks with my LED spotlight. So now I'm going to close out. So I will see y'all the next vlog, which will be my travel vlog. So until then, peace.